does uh, no zoning, unrestricted land mean? We get a ton of uh, requests for unrestricted land, probably because uh, people moving this way are uh, tired of strict HOA rules. I'm Jana Classy, and my husband Paul and I are realtors here in the Eastern Panhandle. I wanna go over what unrestricted means and also what no zoning means and the areas here where you are likely to find both. So uh, first, zoning. Zoning laws are land use laws falling under the police power rights of state governments and local governments so they can exercise authority over privately owned property. The earliest zoning laws were in Los Angeles in the early uh, 1900s, also New York, no surprise there. And the purpose of zoning is to regulate and control uh, property markets to ensure complementary uses. So if an area is zoned for residential, you wouldn't be able to open a car dealership, for example. Just about every major city in the U.S. has zoning laws. Uh, one exception is Houston, Texas, and it's pretty densely populated, so you get uh, some really interesting combinations there. <laughs> The Eastern uh, Panhandle, in contrast, is more sparsely populated. And most of Berkeley County, outside the city of Martinsburg, uh, does not have zoning laws, nor does Morgan County. So if you buy a piece of property in an unzoned area, you can open a car dealership or business, if you like. If that uh, property also does not have restrictions uh, from uh, preventing you from doing that, and restrictions are different uh, than zoning laws. A local munis uh, municipality can put zoning laws in place as part of the uh, ma a master plan for how they want that community laid out. This area is designated for homes, this area designated for business, that sort of thing. Uh, deed restrictions on a property can be placed by a property owner or by an organization like an HOA and uh, those uh, restrictions should be referenced in the deed. Um, either the restrictions will be listed out or it will say something like uh, subject to the covenants and restrictions of and then uh, name the subdivision. So uh, that's how you check out uh, deed restrictions. Another thing to check out is any easements. Many easements are for utility, maintenance, emergency access. An important thing uh, to look for is if there are any right-of-way easements, which allows others to uh, go through your property. A recorded plat should give you not only the dimensions of the property, uh, but also the location of any uh, easements. And it's particularly important to uh, do your due diligence when buying property. This advertised is unrestricted. You may just find that the land does have restrictions in place and that those restrictions have been there uh, for many decades because they pass with the land. Also, uh, the, the idea of unrestricted land with no zoning sounds um, good, great. You can build your own whatever type of home you want. You can have your animals. But it's also important to remember that your neighbors probably also have unrestricted land. And what if they don't give their home and property the same level of care that you give yours? We've all driven by properties that might as well be uh, junkyards, rusted out old cars and things like that. If you plan to buy several acres, um, you can mitigate the possibilities of running into this issue. If you buy enough land and in the right area, you may never see your neighbor. So you'll probably have a better chance of finding unrestricted property as you go uh, west from I-81 in Berkeley County. That'll take you to the Hedgesville, Morgan County area. It's getting harder to find unrestricted land, but I think you have a better chance if you head up that way. Okay, uh, wrapping things up. So zoning laws are determined by state or local government and is more about community planning. Most of Berkeley County outside of Martinsburg has no zoning ordinances, same for Morgan 
County, Jefferson County does have zoning laws and restrictions are placed on a property by a property owner or a, an organization, an HOA. So like I said, part of your uh, due diligence should be to look at the deed, the easements, the zoning laws, uh, so that you know what you are buying. Okay, so I hope this was helpful in clarifying a few things. If you are thinking of moving and would like a list of homes uh, listed as having uh, no HOA, then click on the link in the uh, description below. You'll see a list of those homes. I put that together and it stays updated. And another thing you may be interested in is the property taxes here, which are very low. And I did a video recently on that. So that should show up here in a minute, uh, here on this video. Um, our property taxes are much lower than uh, Maryland, DC or Virginia. So be sure to check that out. And be sure to let us know if you have any questions or you need some help. We're at 304-264-2828. Call, text, email. Uh, my email is Jana at AmazingAffordable.com. Okay, thanks. See you next week. Have a great day. Bye.